I'd like to remind you that I'm not your financial advisor and this is not financial advice. My YouTube channel is for entertainment purposes only and to document my journey in the crypto space. I encourage you to pause the video at this time to read the full disclaimer. And now let's get on with the show. Okay guys, welcome back to the Crypto Wave. Wanted to talk about a project that I've been a part of um, when it first opened. I apologize, I'm a little behind on getting this video done, but uh, it is called Unipower. Now what makes Unipower unique um, is two things. One is it was put onto a decentralized exchange called Uniswap, which we'll go into in a little bit. Um, it is the first, what they're dubbing the proof of liquidity coin. So what does that actually mean? <clears throat> well, the fact that we put it onto, Un or that they put it onto Uniswap Uniswap is an exchange, is a decentralized exchange. So imagine um, Binance, but without all the KYC and hoopla. It's literally just what coin do you want, what coin do you want out, so input, output. Um, there's a lot of other technical data that you can get into on, on uh, Uniswap, but that's kind of the essence of it. Because it links to the ERC-20, it actually links to um, the Ethereum blockchain. So as long as you have a MetaMask um, available and downloaded, just Google MetaMask and you can downloaded as a Google extension, you can interact with the Ethereum blockchain and Uniswap. Now, what does proof of liquidity mean? What it basically means is when you create an ERC-20 token and you put it onto the Uniswap interface, you in essence can give it liquidity. What does that mean? If you deposit, if you buy the particular token, in this case Unipower, and you put an equal amount of Ethereum into the pool, of this token then people can buy and sell and it uses that liquidity or the amount that that people put in to transact those volumes so the higher the liquidity the less um swings it's going to have the lower liquidity you know somebody can come in with one ethereum buy the whole entire thing and then just clean it all out so you want a high liquidity um with a lot of exchanging and a lot of 24-hour kind of transactions is what you want now, the more liquidity you get, meaning the more people that are putting in the coins into that Uniswap, the more decentralized it becomes. And that was, in essence, the premise of this decentralized experiment, so they say. The, the developer, um, who you may know as Hank or Mr. Blobby, he is actually the gentleman who's created the Frag um, ecosystem, which you all know that I'm a very big part of. What he ended up doing is he made a 1 million supply of this token. It's an ERC-20 token. He then did 100% of it as liquidity. So he owns, well, he owns some, but it was truly all put into that exchange simply for the fact of letting it be completely decentralized and letting the community handle it. Now, he's actually going to take it a step further. He's actually going to be creating a DAO in the system that... Um, takes the trading fees from Uniswap and redistributes it back into the community with token buybacks and other mechanisms. Which is so once that's done, he hasn't completed that part yet. But once he's done, this will make this a completely 100% decentralized coin owned by the people who own it. Um, now, as of right now, it's a 100 million fixed supply, 300,000 24-hour volume. There's 600 token holders. There's a lot more of that in the Telegram. So this thing is just, this is less than a week old. This thing is just taking off. So let's go into this. Now, once you download the MetaMask, um, that's where it takes you over to, if you click on Trade Now, it's going to bring you over to, well, I don't really like that one. It brings you over to Uniswap. So let's talk about Uniswap. So Uniswap, this is where the trading happens. So this is where this particular transaction is called power. Now you do need the, the address for power in order to, to um, interact with this. Now, if you go into the Telegram though, you can grab that address and I'll actually put it in the description of the video below. All you literally do is just click on it and it's gonna bring you right to the screen here. So here's how Uniswap works. Again, as long as you have MetaMask um, attached, you're able to um, trade. In essence, you put on the top of what you want to sell, on the bottom is what you're going to get. So right now I have 180 power, so I can put any value, I mean I can really just put whatever value I want in here, but it's only going to let you trade what you have in your Ethereum wallet. Currently my Ethereum wallet is 180, so I can sell anything between, 
one in one hundred. I can even sell fractions if I wanted to of the power, and it's gonna it's gonna output in Ethereum the amount that I'll get that goes directly into my MetaMask Ethereum wallet. Now, if you click on this little arrow right here, right here in the middle, that actually swaps it. So now you're actually able to buy power with Ethereum that you have, and it's going to tell you how many power you're going to get for how much you're putting into there. Once you're ready to do this, you hit swap. Now, once you hit swap, it's going to ask you to confirm. Now, there is a couple of different things you need to pay attention to. One is, what are you, what are you getting rid of? Ethereum, what are you going to get? Power, here's the values. Pay attention to price impact. Now, in this particular case, power is a pretty huge community, so buying 0.15 Ethereum, it's having a 0.04 effect on the price impact itself, which is basically minute. There are some coins that it's what they call slippage. You're going to need to increase the slippage in order for this confirmation to go through. Um, so what you would do is you go over here to the settings, and you're actually able to, you can either do 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 1%, or you can just actually type in whatever value that you want over here um, in order to get that slippage, which will then allow the transaction to go through. So, now the same thing goes for send. If you actually want to send any of your particular coins that you have uh, registered, you can actually send it. I don't use that all that often. I usually just send it straight through my MetaMask. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is um, the pool itself. Okay, guys, so let's talk about the pool now. So the pool itself is where all of the deposits from Power and Ethereum go into. Now, in this particular case, Uniswap, when you go into a pool, if you deposit your Power and your Ethereum into the pool, you, in essence, get percentages of all the trades given to you. It's point, I think it's 0.3% of all trades gets distributed to everybody that's in the pool. So the more trading, the more volatility, the more you get. Now you have to keep in mind actually that your values are going to go up and down based on how much you have in the pool. Uh, so let's go over the pool and I'll show you how to add it and kind of how that works. Okay guys, so this is the liquidity pool. So now as we talked about just a moment ago, you can actually add liquidity. So you can actually add Ethereum. So let's say if I wanted to add 0.2 Ethereum, it's actually going to tell you how many power you need to put in, in, in essence, to balance this 0.2. Now, if you click on supply, now I per personally don't have um, any in this pool. I just haven't gone into the pool at all. I have actually my um, power into something called static power, which we'll go over in a minute. But you have to keep in mind, if you do go into the pool, these values are not going to stay the same. In essence, they should technically go up one or the other. Because what ends up happening, let's say I put in 0 0.2 ETH, I put in 59 power. What ends up happening is it goes into the pool and asks people buy and sell. So if somebody buys a huge amount of power, this value is going to go down while this value goes up because he's putting Ethereum into the pool to take out power. And vice versa, if somebody ends up selling their power, then what will end up happening is the power goes back into the pool, thus raising the amount of power that I hold, but taking away the pool ETH, lowering my value of ETH. Now, this on any other coins doesn't really work very well. You need high liquidity. You need a lot of people using the coin. Because if you can imagine, if I'm one of 10 people holding, let's say I have one Ethereum, and there's 10 people in here, and eight of them decide they want to cash out, well, what's going to end up happening is, whatever the coin is, not power, we're going to make up some coin, it will in essence, take all of the Ethereum out of the pool, leaving me with a gigantic stack of coins that are worthless because there's no more Ethereum in the liquidity pool. And that's where these scams get off in, Uni in Uniswap. It won't necessarily happen with Power. He's a reputable uh, developer. He's been doing this a very, very long time. Um, I have complete faith in this, and I think this is absolutely just the beginning of this particular uh, coin here. So that's the liquidity pool and how you get it and how basically it works. So let's go back over here to swap. I'm going to show you exactly how you actually purchase this power now. Okay guys, easy enough. The way we purchase power, you want to make sure that you have Ethereum um, is what you're going to be giving. Power is what it's going to be what you're taking out. We'll go ahead and just do 0 0.1 for the purposes of showing how to do this. Once you put that value in, it's going to default you the amount that's the power that you're actually going to obtain. 
Um, now again, this is a large pool, so I'm going to leave my uh, impact at 0 0.03. That should be more than enough for slippage in order to uh, have this transaction go through. We click on swap. Um, it's going to confirm you're giving me, you're putting 0 0.1 into the pool. You're going to get out 29.75. I'll say no problem. Confirm. Your MetaMask pops up. It's going to tell you what the gas fee is. We'll speed it up for the sake of this video. So hopefully it's done by the time we are done talking. Now this is going to tell you that one transaction is pending within the Uniswap. And we're going to wait here uh, in order for it to come through. While we're waiting, let's go ahead and talk about static power. Okay guys, static power. So in essence, this is a staking mechanism for the power. This is the first one that got developed. Now it wasn't developed by the developer Hank, but it is endorsed by him. In essence, what is this? If you've been any kind of DAP anywhere on Tron or Ethereum or anywhere else, you're going to have these um, staking DAPs. In essence, what you do is you deposit any kind of power that you might have. They take 10% of that fee or of that power that you put in, and it gets distributed to anybody who's been in before you. Um, and then while you sit in here, uh, so I actually have 18 in here. Um, I have 0 0.03 that's able to be withdrawn. Um, but in essence, anybody who comes in after you, you get the 10% that comes out of their deposit gets distributed to everybody else that's holding. So in reality, it's kind of a last man standing. The more you hold, the better off you're going to be. Now, I can tell you that I put in 20. Um, it took, obviously, the 10%, which took me down to 18. Since that time, I've actually pulled out more. In essence, I would have to have four power withdrawn through my dividends that when I take this out, I break even. And I've actually already hit that mark. So in reality, any any more that I get here is just extra. That isn't going to cost me anything. And if you really think about it, one of the most amazing things, so this is a 1 million fixed supply coin. If you come over here, there is currently 388,000 in the staking contract. That is an astronomical amount. That is more than a third of the power is in the stake. What does that do to price on this unit swap? It drives it up. We came back just in time. Here it says my 0 0.1 switched over to 28.3 power. So you'll see now that my power value has gone up here and my Ethereum value has gone down. Now again, if I wanted to sell, I can give any value that I want here of selling. But even if I just wanted to sell that 28 pack, 28.3. Um, then you can sell it right back again. So long as you click this arrow and put what are you giving to what are you going to get. So that is exactly how you do it. That is a quick summary of um, unit power. There's more things to come. I know he's working on more dApps. Um, here, he's obviously already listed on CoinGecko as well as CoinMarketCap, I think they're working on. He's working on that DAO. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Let's go back here. So the pool... When you are swapping, there is a value that goes into a pool that is actually owned by the contract creator. So he's actually, the contract creator is going to be taking those fees, and he's done this already, I think, twice. And he takes the fees from that swapping, and he's creating a, car, a smart contract or a DAO that automatically goes back into Uniswap and buys more tokens and distributes it to everybody. Um, now, at the moment, I believe he's actually been dropping it into the static power. He's actually been taking those fees, getting the Ethereum or the power for it after it purchased it, and just dumping it in here, in essence, raining dividends on people that are in here. Um, so that's another unique feature that he's doing. Um, completely selfless, completely, I mean, just an amazing developer who's just here for the team. So. All right, guys, that is as quick as I can do it. That is Unipower in a nutshell. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll put the links to the Uniswap um, power link as well as Unipower static. Um, in the description below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment. I appreciate it. Have a great day.